Hello Taurus, how are you out? This finds you well. So we are going to be doing your who's coming towards you next in love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And today, Thursday, is the last day to get your orders in for the special. It is a person on your mind recorded video reading for 2222 and everything that you'll need to know is posted on the community page for you all right my loves let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys all right taurus next love coming towards taurus we're going to start with a few of these um and then we're going to go ahead and jump into your tarot i don't want to see you with anyone else Heartfelt conversations, and at the bottom of the deck, my life is not together at all. Wow. So, for some of you guys, this could be somebody who's around you that is interested in you, but for others of you, I feel like this is a past person. So I'm gonna give you both messages that are coming up, okay? So just take what's for you for you and leave what isn't for somebody else, okay? Um, now, for those of you where I feel like there could be somebody around you who really wants to pursue you or really wants to have some kind of connection with you. This could be somebody that you work with or somebody that you see, you know, maybe at their work. Okay. So, um, or something of that nature. Like there's just somebody who's around you could be a friend who really wants to open up to you and tell you how they feel. Okay. Somebody has feelings for you and they don't want to see you move on. I feel like somebody's afraid that if they wait until they have their stuff together, that you're going to be moved on, that you're going to be with somebody else. And it's like, I, they can't stand that thought. Um, but they are also not where they want to be. They could have a lot going on. Um, they could have lost a lot. I just feel like this person's like, I really don't have my stuff together. I'm not where I want to be. And it's like they wanted to wait until they were in a better space to make this offer to you. I see offer right under here. But they're afraid. They're afraid they're going to lose their shot with you if they do that. Now, for others of you, I feel like this is a past person. And I do feel like they were the ones that walked away, okay? For those of you where that's, um, where it's a past person, I feel like they were the ones that walked away from you. And I do kind of felt like they, they felt like things were going to be amazing, right? They were going to have this like amazing life um, or like the grass was greener on the other side type of a thing. And you could have felt really unappreciated by this person. Um, like nothing that you did was ever enough and this person left and it was still like that where they felt like they were going to be able to, you know, have this amazing life or do so much better. But I feel like things have progressively gotten worse for this person. I feel like, like, especially with this, my life is not together at all. Like things did not work out at all like they thought that they would. And I feel like it's really shown them a new appreciation for what they had with you. Okay, like the way that you treated them, the way that you supported them, the way that you were there for them. You know, I just feel like it's really where they're at now. Sometimes people need that contrast. They need that contrast to be able to to see it. Some people just can't see what's in front of them. Um, so with this heartfelt conversations, I definitely feel like somebody doesn't want to see you move on. Okay, I feel like somebody's going to be reaching out to you here. Like I picked it up. We have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So definitely could talk about reconciliation. But let's see. It's a new deck and it is still very slippery. I guess I have not broken in yet enough. Bear with me, my love. All right. We have the moon. The Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. We have the Hermit here at the bottom of the deck. Do you guys hear the loud noises outside? I live in the Midwest, okay, in a rural area, so uh, it's just tractors. They're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. So if you hear any of the loud noises, it's just tractors going down the street. Okay. No worries. All 
All right, so we have the Hermit here at the bottom of the deck for their general overall energy. A lot of introspection. A lot of introspection. I feel like this person is also realizing, you know, just how much time has passed here between the two of you. But doing a lot of introspection. And I do feel like the Hermit, he had to go through this experience of climbing the mountain so that he can see it from this perspective. And I, I kind of feel like that. Like I said earlier, I feel like this person had to go through this experience. They had to have this contrast to be able to see it from the perspective that they are now. It's unfortunate sometimes, you know, some people just have to learn things the hard way. Um, I was definitely one of those when I was younger, so I can relate to that. But um, it's sad sometimes that it takes so much for some, you know, for us to learn. Now we have the moon energy here for their thoughts. So there's still a lot of things that are unclear or hidden from this person. And I feel like that's more when it comes to you. Like this person is not sure about where you're at with things, especially this, I don't want to see you with anybody else. They could be wondering, like, if you've already moved on, you know, are you with somebody? Do you even want to hear from them? For those of you where this is somebody who's around you, it's like, are you interested in them? Do you feel the same way? Are you going to mind what they have going on in their life? That they don't have things together. We have the Five of Swords here as their feelings, feeling very conflicted. Uh, so for those of you where this is somebody who's currently around you and just wants to shoot their shot but is afraid of their situation, I feel like they're very, very conflicted, okay? Um, because they really want this with you, but they, they're afraid. They're afraid because of their circumstances um, and because of this lack of clarity, right, with that moon energy. But for those of you where this is a past person, the Five of Swords can also, it is mental conflict, but it's also kind of reassessment. Um, I definitely feel like somebody's looking back over the past and it's like a lot of would have, could have, should have energies, right? I wish I would have done this. I wish I wouldn't have said that. I wish I would have realized this sooner, you know? It's also kind of a determined energy. I do feel like the Five of Swords is a card of like getting what you want by any means necessary. And I don't feel like that in a manip in, I don't feel like that is here in a manipulative sense. Um, it feels more like I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm will I know I messed up and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. We have the 10 of pentacles here for their intention, which I really love. Um, especially for those of you where this is a past person, you know, it says that they're, they didn't see your value before, but they see it now and they want this now. Okay. They, they want to value you. They want to value what you guys have and they want to build something together, a card of family and permanence. Um, for those of you where, like I said, this is somebody who's around you, they want this with you. They can see that kind of long-term potential with you. Um, I feel like this person has, either way, I feel like this person has very good intentions. Their next action towards you, we have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is somebody who is, you know, moves from the heart space. Somebody is coming towards you and they are expressing um, how they feel. And you can really see that with this heartfelt conversation, right? Somebody is being very... Um, very raw and real with you here emotionally okay so that is what i have for you the signs i'm seeing i see pisces virgo aquarius those are the signs i'm seeing but it could be any it is a general reading so even if i did not mention a specific sign this reading can definitely still resonate for you okay um, but that is what i have for you I do hope that it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. Information for this special that is closing out today is posted on the community page. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, put that little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.